Hi everyone, my name is Brandon and I'm a PhD student at the University of Toronto Institute for Aerospace Studies. And I'm in the STARS lab, which is the Space and Terrestrial Autonomous Robotic Systems Lab, which is led by Professor Jonathan Kelly. In this video, I'm going to be discussing my paper titled LSTM-based Zero Velocity Detection for Robust Inertial Navigation, which I presented at the Indoor Positioning and Indoor Navigation Conference in 2018. In this work, the primary goal is to estimate a user's pose, that is, their position, velocity, and orientation within a GPS-denied environment using a foot-mounted inertial measurement unit, otherwise known as an IMU. The user's pose estimate is updated by integrating the IMU readings, which are the linear acceleration and angular velocity, at each time step. The main application of this system is the indoor localization of first responders, which is necessary for ensuring the safety of responders in emergency situations where other localization technologies like GPS do not function properly. Since MEMS-based IMUs produce measurements with a high degree of noise, simply integrating the measurements produces position error that grows cubically in time. Our system is a zero-velocity-aided inertial navigation system, which corrects for this error by detecting when the user's foot is stationary. Since the IMU is mounted on the foot, we know that when the foot is stationary, the velocity state of the IMU is zero. We can compare the current velocity estimate with the known zero velocity measurement, which allows us to directly observe the error of the estimate, which we can then directly remove from the system. Typically, the zero velocity pseudo measurements are incorporated into the state estimate using an extended Kalman filter. We can see in this figure the typical architecture of such a system. Here, zero velocity measurements are produced by a zero velocity detector, which uses a statistical test to determine if the IMU's readings are similar to that of a stationary IMU. Specifically, the linear acceleration should be equal to the acceleration due to gravity, and the angular velocity should be approximately zero. In practice, since these conditions are never exactly satisfied, we apply a threshold. If the statistical test output is smaller than this threshold, we assume that IMU is stationary and the zero velocity measurement is then passed into the EKF. The main challenge with this approach is that the IMU readings are highly dependent on the motion type of the user. We can see from these plots that the angular velocity readings highly vary as a function of motion type. This means that if we were to optimize the zero velocity threshold for a particular motion type, such as stair climbing, no zero velocity intervals would be detected for walking or for running. If instead we were to optimize the threshold for running, we would experience false positive detections for walking or stair climbing. Both of these cases would result in catastrophic error. Rather than rely on the selection of a hand-tuned threshold, our approach completely replaces the standard zero velocity detector with a learned model that uses a long short-term memory neural network, or an LSTM, to classify zero velocity events, given the raw IMU data as an input. We will see shortly how such a system can outperform existing zero-velocity detectors that rely on hand-tuned thresholds. We decided to use an LSTM since they recently have achieved state-of-the-art results for sequential learning tasks. Their main advantage is their propagation of a memory state through time, which allows for previous inputs to impact the output at the current time step. This type of network can outperform standard neural networks, which only use the data from a single input in their classification. Since inertial data is sequential in nature, LSTMs are ideal for zero-velocity classification, as zero-velocity events at adjacent time steps are highly correlated. We trained our LSTM-based zero-velocity classifier using a data set that we collected, which consisted of raw inertial data from a user who performed a variety of motions such as walking, running, shuffling, crawling, and climbing. Along with this data, we generated zero velocity labels for each IMU time step, which we used for supervised training of our classifier. Our best performing model achieved approximately 97% classification accuracy on both the training and the validation set. We incorporated our LSTM into our zero velocity aided INS to produce a pose estimate for each motion trial that was collected. We computed the average position error for each of these motion trials and compared it to the position error that resulted from using two existing fixed threshold detectors. 
This error histogram shows that our LSTM based classifier, represented by the yellow bars, is much more accurate than the fixed threshold detectors, which are represented by the blue and green bars. This means that our classifier is able to operate consistently across motion types, whereas existing detectors with a fixed threshold typically work well only for a very specific motion and cannot perform well across a wide set of motion types. To further evaluate our proposed system, we additionally collected a test set consisting of motion trials from five different test subjects within the hallways at the University of Toronto. Users performed walking, running, and mixed motion trials along a 110 meter hallway. We evaluated the position error at several reference markers along the trajectory. In this walking trajectory, we see that our LSTM-based zero velocity classifier, which is represented by the yellow trajectory, is much more accurate than the trajectories generated when using the fixed threshold detectors. Our proposed system also consistently outperforms the fixed threshold detectors for running trials. In both of these cases, the fixed threshold detectors accumulate a significant amount of error, which is a result of the optimal threshold not being well suited to running motions. In contrast to this, our proposed method detects the majority of zero velocity events, which results in improved position estimates along the trajectory. Over all of the motion trials that were collected, our LSTM-based classifier produced the lowest average position error of 1.08 meters, or just 0.5% of distance traveled, which was approximately a 35% reduction in error compared to the best performing fixed threshold detector. We also evaluated our LSTM-based classifier on stair climbing and crawling motions. We can see that while existing methods completely fail during these motions, our proposed method produces accurate trajectories in both of these cases. Thanks a lot for listening. For more information, feel free to read our paper, and don't hesitate to email me if you have any more questions.